Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan from Milky Way Art Design. In my previous video, I did a pour on a 6 inch tile and on that one I did a comp composition where I had two flowers at the center and some um, leaves surrounding it. So on the same session, I thought, hey, let's do a set of coasters and here my goal was to experiment with trying some kind of composition which where the flower would be on the corner instead of in the center and there would be some leaves so let's go ahead and start now that i tried that chameleon color i want to try some more with different color base so let's see what can we do My base coat is just interior house paint. I think I'm using um, Gideon Essential on this one. And I have not mixed anything else with the house paint. I'm using a, sp a small spoon to have least amount of mess. I find that working with house paints are so messy. So I'm trying to keep my spill minimum. The greens that I picked today are Jenkins Green and Green Gold. Both of them are from Golden. Both of them are my most probably most favorite greens of all time. Um, sometimes you'll see that my colors or the mixtures are a little bit thicker than usual. What happens sometimes when you leave them uh, a day or two or let them sit for a while, they turn thicker. But um, again, that's not intentional. It just happens sometime. Many of you often ask me to blow with a straw or use some other tools. But honestly, I have tried straws. I have tried thicker straw, thinner straw. I have tried those uh, world's smallest uh, blower. Um, I have tried everything. But for some reason, I feel like when I blow by my mouth, it's complete, it gives me a completely different look. Or the look I get, I am very happy. I often get very happy with the look that I get. So I keep on going back to my blowing by my mouth. I love these areas. Mm, actually, I like the whole thing. As I said in the beginning that I am going to create a flower in one of the corner. So it's going to be off centered. So now I am looking at my piece and I'm thinking which side to ruin. I'm thinking what to do because it's so pretty. I just want to put a flower somewhere, but I don't know. You know what? I'm going to mess around in the center. Yes. Because all the other sides are too pretty to mess around. As you notice I am using minimum amount of paint to create the flower because I cannot spin after I create the flower or I cannot have too much paint on my surface once I blow so I am trying to use as little 
paint as possible to make sure that I don't get any cracks. Found my white cell activator. Like I said, it was just right next to me, but I could not find it. Here, if you notice that I have those white tiles showing up because when I used my skewer, I went too deep. I have to fix that. Otherwise, it will keep on like opening up more and the composition will be bad. The flower will not look good. So these are the little mistakes with practice you will learn to fix. So this is my first coaster. Uh, what do you think? I'm actually really happy with the result. Let's do the next one. On to the second one. Oh, this one is even prettier than the uh, previous one. Therefore, it's even harder to decide which side to get rid of. So, these are pretty. I'm going to make the flower in this corner. Yeah. How about... Mm, no, I'm going to do this side.
so basically i am removing the green from that corner and uh, putting on tiny bit of white base coat on top of that i'm going to create my different color flower So this one, I am thinking maybe magenta and the chameleon. Notice that from the places I removed the green from underneath, the magenta looks vibrant and colorful, but the places the, magenta, uh, the green is still underneath, it kind of blended with the magenta and it doesn't look nice. Um, I should not say it doesn't look nice, it looks different, but I'm just talking, if you're thinking about the vibrancy of the color, it kind of blends in. Whenever I see a tent, I th feel like I should put a petal divider there because it will look natural. I can't wait these to dry to see it how it dries with specifically because of the chameleon color spend a lot of money on that one i want to see some good results when you pick up your tile just make sure with your finger um, get rid of all the drippings from the sides so when it dries it's not those bumpy dripping hanging from the bottom off to the third one
it so I'm thinking I'm gonna do the flower on this corner because it this corner looks drab. On this third one, I'm starting with pink base for the flower. Okay, when I was using this uh, kit, I for some reason there's a big dent and it will not recover, so I kind of closed it up. There's another one. If you pull through, pull your stick through there one more time, it will close the gap between the two partition of the paint. So. There we go. I like this color of the three. This is the most beautiful one. What do you think? I like it. So for understanding, when you are using your skewer, don't go all the way so your uh, tile will get exposed. That's not a good thing. So you have to be very careful how deep you go. I'm glad that I finished this paint. That means it's not going to go over to waste. Feels good.
so I really love this area so probably this area I will work on And of course, this one is Nicolazzo Gold. Again, the gaps have been created. I'm trying to mend them together. Because otherwise when it dries, it will be even wider. It doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes it happens. I'm not sure why. I don't know the science behind it. this is the end result let them dry and i will show all of them to you at the same time when everything dries next day this is the dried result and i'm showing you all of these up close as you can see there is no crack and they dried really nicely so i'm pretty happy with the results that i have thank you so much for joining me today i hope you enjoyed my video and please if you like my video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and help me grow uh, until next time bye these are all dried and resined Looks really pretty. So yeah.